Hello folks, so I'm called before he's all again tonight for another video. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's going to cover a couple of things. It's my daily diary, right? And if anybody's been watching me on Facebook, you'll see that I invented two new sets of superheroes, right? invented the masters which is a, a blessing in a way because it came through past projects of me working with the tarot back when i was maybe 20 30 years of age with the interest in it and then developing products and then i turned them into superheroes then I was sitting and I let my imagination go a bit further with the chakras and stuff as well that I've studied. And I came up with the Ladies of the Rainbow, which is another set of superheroes. And I'm trying to get them developed. And so watch this space, right, with that. And I'm comfortable in telling you it's new because it can't be copied. It's copyrighted and copyright law states that the minute a concept or an intellectual idea exists and put down on pen, paper or recorded that that's it covered under copyright laws right because we don't want what happened in the Simpsons where a wee down and out guy, a wee alcoholic eh, ended up buying a, a house made of gold and a gold Rolls Royce and all that because somebody stole what he invented years ago. Two cartoon characters, intellectual property, they don't tend to stay these days because it all comes back to source anyway, so I'm quite comfortable in telling you about my characters. So they'll be developed. But anyway, as my night went on, after I'd done my, my characters and stuff, I was watching my readers and they were saying about uh, it's never too late in life. And it's never too late in life for anybody to make their life better, to change it, to achieve goals they've always wanted to achieve. Like for me, I always remember my nana. Nana used to always say, oh, I could write a book. Oh, I could write a book. She, she quoted it most times when she was telling stories of yesteryear and all that. And then when I was growing up and I got to a stage where I says, well, I'm going to write a book. And some of you will know I've written quite a few books because I didn't want to get like my Nana where her life had ended and she never got to write her books. And we, we other pursuits. So what I do in life is the minute I get inspiration to create anything at all, I'll create it. I won't think about it. I won't say I'll date tomorrow or I'll date next week. I'll date her then, right? Because when it's done, when you've got the inspiration, that's it done, right? whether it's a book, art, eh, music, anything creative, right? I, I won't procrastinate over it and say, like I'll get around to it. No, it's done and then it exists and it exists in that format to call back at a later date if required. Because if at a later date I've not done it, then I can't get back and get it, can I? makes sense, doesn't it? So, the advice is, if you're ever prompted to write a book, write it. Commit yourself to writing it, right? Same with art. Produce a piece of art. Same with music. Produce music. It's always going to be there to call back as and when required. It's better time going by 
and seeing in yourself Awesha Kedadana, Sarawasha Dana, and Awesha did this. And if it doesn't bear any fruit in your generation, right? I mean, like I said, when you am 52, as I've said umpteen times, and I've got family, you know, I've got my nieces and nephews, and I, I might be blessed with having another child in my life, I don't know. I mean, look at David Jason, uh, only fools and horses. Charlie Chaplin as well, they were dads late, so if I get to become a dad, I can leave my legacy to my children. All the, this work I'm telling you I'm putting in now in my creative pursuits. So it might not bear fruit my whole life, and I might die poor, but it will be there for my next generation to prosper after. Right, because even like you two and that will joke and say that death is a career move, right? And you see it sometimes, social media is full of it, you'll hear news, this one died and that one died, did they? Or is it just to hype them up, to bring awareness to their product or their song or their books, their legacy? To bring attention to it after the forever decreasing attention span of social media in today's world, you know. But for me, like the Bible says, uh, you can't get into heaven if you're rich. So that suits me. If I die poor, I'm I'm getting into heaven, you know. One trailer thought, other trailer thought is heaven on earth. Right with the the Lord's prayer, as they say, but even the title of Lord, I don't think Jesus would have took that. Jesus wouldn't have took been called a Lord because he was so humble. Right, your Lord's current day, doing in England and London, they'll take it to drop your heart. They'll sell their granny for a title of a Lord. These politicians, right? The title of a Lord is. Uh, gained through money and greed current day and in Jesus day he wouldn't have accepted being a lord he'd have just been Jesus as humble as you and I as he was so in summary before I sign off if you want to do anything in life it could be anything at all it doesn't need to be creative pursuits, it could be anything, please do it, right, don't get to the end of your days and say I wish I'd have done it, because life isn't a rehearsal, like you two reminded me as well, you don't get a second chance at life, you've won life, and that's why I pursue everything I can, and people might look at me weird and say oh he's doing that one minute and that the next, it's whatever comes up, it's whatever God has placed in my path with what I call a download when I meditate. It's a, an activation through the source to my higher self and in my 3D body that makes me pursue different 3D pursuits and creation. Right? That's how it's all over the place and doesn't make rhyme nor reason. Right? So don't let that hold you back either. Don't let what other people think he ever hold you back. Stay your own course in life without thought of anybody. You know? Because you'll get people who try and trap your mind and make you think of them and what they would think of what you're doing. Forget him, they'll know you. They'll not be on your deathbed reflecting on life when your time comes. So live a full life, live a happy life, and don't make anybody else's life any harder than it needs to be. And I'll see you again. Bye bye.